Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay Discworld, and when last we left off, we've asked everyone that we needed to about what it takes to be a hero. We've also grabbed a couple more inventory items and made our first foray into the palace dungeon. Now, let us finally discover what we need to be a hero and slay the dragon. There are eight total possible items, and we do not need all of them. And if you haven't figured out what we need to do with this, I'll show you how this works. First, we will select this item here. So tell me, what would be the odds of me slaying a dragon if I were wearing a magic talisman? Funny thing, but I just happen to know that one. I would reckon it's about 125,000 to one. Now that probability for that item always stays the same. So, if we were to add the moustache on as well... So tell me, what would be the odds of me slaying a dragon if I were wearing a magic talisman? And if I had a moustache? After taking into account the expected number of butterflies flapping their wings at the time, hmm, that would have to be 325,000 to 1. They add the probabilities up to make a bigger probability. It's actually becoming less likely that we'll succeed the more things that we have. And yet, remember that I said earlier that a million to one is a very important probability in Ankh-Morbok? That's what we're trying to get to. By adding all these items together, we're trying to get to an a million to one chance. Let's now try these three. So tell me, what would be the odds of me slaying a dragon if I were wearing a magic talisman? And if I had a birthmark? And if I had a moustache? Garrett, you're the expert on that one. I'd say it's 400,000 to one. We're getting closer. So what if we had all four of these items here? So tell me, what would be the odds of me slaying a dragon if I were wearing a magic talisman? And if I had a birthmark? And if I had a moustache? And if I was wearing a black mask? Now, oh, let me see. I'd say it's 500,000 to one. Halfway there. So what if we had all five of these items here? So tell me, what would be the odds of me slaying a dragon if I were wearing a magic talisman? And if I had a birthmark? And if I had a moustache? And if I was wearing a posing pouch? To know. What do you think, Karras? I would reckon it's about 450,000 to 1. The odds actually got lower. Hmm, that's not good. I think the posing pouch actually gives us a higher chance of success, and we don't want that. So tell me, what would be the odds of me slaying a dragon if I were wearing a magic talisman? And if I had a birthmark? And if I had a moustache? And if I recited a magic spell? And if I was wearing a posing pouch? And if I was wearing a black mask? Funny thing, but I just happen to know that one. I'd say it's 750,000 to one. Oh, we're getting close. So what if we had every single item? And I'll tell you what, Ritzwin looks absolutely ridiculous. So tell me, what would be the odds of me slaying a dragon if I were wearing a magic talisman? And if I were wearing camouflage? And if I had a sword that went ting? And if I had a birthmark? And if I had a moustache? And if I recited a magic spell? And if I was wearing a posing pouch? And if I was wearing a black mask? That one's tricky. That one must be. 1,150,000 to 1. That is actually too high a probability, so let us remove the things that we don't need and get to the right number. We need a talisman, we need a moustache, we need a birthmark, we need a magic spell, which we already have, we need camouflage, which we already have, and a sword that goes ting. So tell me, what would be the odds of me slaying a dragon if I were wearing a magic talisman? And if I were wearing camouflage? And if I had a sword that went ting? And if I had a birthmark? And if I had a moustache? And if I recited a magic spell? Ah, now that's an easy one. Ah, now you're talking. The odds against that are exactly a million to one. But then again, it may just work. It may! That's the game saying you've got it. We need those six items, we're already a third of the way there. Let us now leave and go somewhere. Like these woods here, which we've never been to. 
Oh, these woods are much nicer than the uh, other woods that we went into. That wood was terrible. Ah, there's somebody that we've seen before, and there's the frog. At least I think it's the frog that uh, we had in our inventory. Nice to know that you're in a nice place now. Hello. Persistent little blighter, isn't he? How are you? There you are. <sighs> She's forgotten about me. If only she would come. Ah, you're referring to the uh, milkmaid. And here's a wishing well. I wish I could think of a wish. Me too. Now let us use the crank. Darn it. Worked that time, though. Quite a handy wooden crank, this. Indeed. We don't need it. There are no mansions that we need to explore, but what we do need is what's in the bucket. Looks like I was named. That's a bucket. We need that water. I mean, we could just take the bucket. No? Okay. We instead have this. A pot full of water. I hope it's not river water. I'd hate to melt the pot. I I don't think it is. This area is uh way too full of life for it to be river water. Either way, we've got what we need right now, so let us go and head to head to the dark wood first. There's something we need to do here. There's something we need to do because the person who lives in that shack has returned and we need to have a conversation with them. Also, we've dealt with... Oh, no, wait! It's back! It was gone! Uh, and then it returned. Oh, game. Let's go into here and, uh... have a conversation. There are potions here. Nanny Ogg's Inheritance Accelerator. Why wait for the rest of their life? Hmm. Hmm. What do we have here? Nanny Ogg's Patent Lie Remover. Removes unsightly untruths, leaving behind just the odd white lie. Ah. Nanny Ogg's Special Corn Remover and Passion Potion. Must be for those with a foot fetish. We need that middle one. Also, there's wool here. Should we follow that wool? It leads us to here! And you finally got, uh, through luggage. Took a while. Nothing to be scared of here. Are you sure? That doesn't work. There's a very particular item here, though. Hmm. Now, why wasn't I given one of these things all along? I've no idea. But it's ours now! We have a mallet. A king-size wooden mallet. Just what I need. Excellent. Hello, sheep. What a pretty little sheep. Hello. That doesn't work. Nothing we can do here, though. I guess we just have to go back through. What an annoying sort of door. Maybe it's not designed for us. Either way... I think we now know of it. Yeah, we know of it now, which means that we don't need to follow the wool anymore. Do need to talk to Nanny Og, though. Don't move suddenly. She can smell fear a mile away. Don't look. Just keep calm and everything's going to be okay. Are you sure? Watch out, dearie. Eek! Hello. Ooh, we can ask about that. Is it much of a living being a witch? Actually, business hasn't been going all that well. I've lost my custard-making book, and I used to sell the most irresistible custard. Really? Well, it was a bit of a cheat. I used to put love potion in the custard. You couldn't help but fall in love with it. So the book's gone. Why don't you try looking in the library? You're such a thoughtful little man. Now come over here and sit on your old nanny's trick knee. Eek! I don't think she's going to be looking in the library. I mean... Even if she did look in the library, she couldn't take it. Well, she could, but then she'd get into trouble with the uh, university. And I don't think she wants that. I don't think anyone wants that. Let's not do something we'll regret, shall we? How about a kiss for old Nanny? Eek! Madam, try not to remember who you are. 
Let's ask some questions. Somehow, I didn't think your hobby would be knitting. Ooh, I'm a devil for it. It's pretty hard to do, though. My cat, Grebo, keeps playing with the wool, the little scamp. Be careful if you go near him. He's not very happy about men in dresses. It's not a dress. It's a robe of occult power. It's got sequins. I happen to like sequins. They happen to give a very nice occult sparkle, all right? Sparkles are awesome. You and I agree on that, Rincewind. Madam, control yourself. I'm an accredited wizard. Well, you know what they say about men with big hats. I, d I don't want... Really? What is it they say? They've got big heads. Oh. Well, she's got a point there. Ah, about your patented lie remover potion. It's my special truth potion. Aha. Uh -huh. Um... Could I borrow some? I'll only let you have some in return for a kiss. And this time, I'll be keeping my eyes open, so I will. Oh. No. Uh, um. Oh, let's not be silly. I think I might be physically ill. We are going to have to use the, uh, custard tart that we got. Remember that? It's very important. Can we use it now? Try again later. Or earlier. Ah, yes. We need to uh, wait for the particular moment. That is to say, when we specifically ask about the potion. Watcha, dearie! Eek! Ah, about your... It's my... Uh -huh. I'll only let... And this time... No. Right, here we go. Cause the tart... Us. <laughs> my, my. Ah, uh, about the truth potion? Here, take it. Ooh, my, my. And we still have some of the custard tart, which is very important. Now let us get out of here and hope that the custard tart wears off quickly. I think its effects are pretty much gone once you uh, get the potion. We're going to need that potion. And we're going to need it for the broken drum. But for now, there is another item that we can get, that we can work towards, and that is the moustache. So let's head to Ankh-Morpork. And go to the inn. For the inn has something that we need. And that's the soap. Why do we need soap? We need soap for that water, so that we can get soapy water. Why do we need soapy water? So that we can brush something. And I think you know what thing we need to brush. First things first. The soap with that water. Where is that water? There it is. Now we have a new item! A pot of frothy water. Must have a million household uses. Shame I can't think of any right now. Oh, Rincewind. Let's get that brush. Use it here. Now we have... A genuine hog bristle back scrubbing brush. And now it's one covered in soapy water. Why do we need that soapy water? We need it for the livery stable. So let's go. We're going to answer a question that has been asked the entire game up till now. Does anybody know the number of that donkey cart? We're about to. By looking at the donkey cart. That doesn't work. I think we need this in our personal inventory. That doesn't... Oh, we have to right-click it, don't we? My bad. Or do we need it... I think we might need it in our actual... Why is a trim little cart, that? We might actually need it in our hand, because right now we can't access our stuff, can we? What if we do this? There we go! <laughs> A bit of 
cleaning. And now we know it. And it's exactly what you thought it would be. So ass. There we go. We have the number of that donkey cart. And while I'm thinking about it, we need to go this way and grab something from here. I think there's a very important item. Is it? Well, there's this. Funny sort of appointment book. Nice big pages, though. Let's grab this. There we go. Funny sort of appointment book. Nice big pages, though. I'm trying to think about where we get... Nothing there, nothing there. There's a pair of scissors that we need to get. And I don't remember where... Ah, oh, there they are! Gosh! The only ones they'll ever let me use at the University of the Ends all blunted off. Not these ones. These ones are great. Very stylish styling scissors. We need these. And what we need to do, while I'm thinking about it, is get the knife that we got from the hovel and put it in Rincewind's personal inventory. Because yes, we're going back to the alley and we're causing some shenanigans. As always. And you know what shenanigan I'm about to engage in. We may be about to get a second ladder. I don't actually remember if we get a second ladder. We may only ever have one. Maybe we could tie them together and make a super ladder! Also, no chimney sweep here. That does look like it hurts. Right. Down we go. I think I have the right item. It's either the scissors or the knife, and I think it is the knife. For there is here this ladder. Let's keep track of that. Indeed. That doesn't work. Can't do anything with it. But... We do! We do get a second ladder. And we get to keep the knife, too. So, back down we go. We really need a safer way to do this. One day that person's gonna shut that window. And out we go. And... If we just wait... There they are again. Of all the animations, it's that one I like. It's the sneakiest. And kapow. This time, I'm going to have a conversation that'll go differently. Did you get the number of that donkey cart? So ass. Now that we've told the assassin that information, something's going to happen. For now, the assassin knows where to get vengeance. The donkey is gone. And if we go into the square and go past the uh, old timers, past Cut Me Own Throat Dibbler, past all of you, the donkey is in the stocks. This is what comes of holding low aspirations. Oh, Rincewind. And there is also the tail. That doesn't work. Can't talk to the donkey, not surprisingly. Hmm. Strangely luxuriant hair on this donkey. I don't think I'll ask where it's been. You know what we're going to be doing, folks. We have a pair of scissors. We need a moustache. Took a little bit, and now we have a genuine donkey tail moustache. If only it didn't smell so strange. I'm not surprised it smells quite strange. And while I'm thinking about uh, puzzles, let's solve one more, shall we? Because next uh, we're going to be working on the birthmark. Or at least starting to work on the birthmark. And what we need to do is we need to go to the other end of this street 
and use something that I have sort of been looking at all the way through the game, but have never had the opportunity to do anything with, and that is the pot of glue. What are we going to be putting in the pot of glue? Well, we can't talk to Basela right now because the dog is constantly interfering. But if we were to, for instance, distract the dog... I'm quite glad that the uh, toy maker doesn't mind. Not much meat on it, but plenty of glue to go round. Yep, this is how we're going to distract the dog. Let's go to the inn. This puzzle took me absolutely ages the first time I ever played the game. I didn't think to use this. I didn't even think to examine the skeleton in the dungeon. I thought it was, uh, rather, use it. I thought it was just a background thing. But no, the way to do it is to, uh, give the dog a bone. And considering the old adage, I'm surprised it took me that long when I was younger to figure it out. But, uh, here we go. And now the dog is busy. And so, when we come back, folks, we're going to talk to the sailor and ask about birthmarks, or at least where he got that tattoo from, because we could probably pass a tattoo off as a birthmark, couldn't we? Maybe? I'm sure no one will ask too many pointed questions about it. At least I hope they won't. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.